are working on a national development plan which takes a broad approach to looking at development across a number of areas. The economy, governance, social policy, and of course the environment which includes the built environment. Well, what makes Andres so unique, first of all, it's the largest island in the Bahamas. It's 47% of all the land mass in the country. And um, it holds about 80% of our natural resources. And also it has a unique ecosystem that is only found here. Andros has about 40% of all of the nursery habitat for the entire Bahamas. So if you think about all of the crawfish and juvenile fish species uh, that depend on that habitat, so it has a lot of timber. Um, that provides habitat um, as well for uh, bird species, so the potential for bird watching. The reef there being the third largest barrier reef in the world. The Andros Project is part of the Inter-American Development Bank's efforts to support its member countries in achieving their sustainable development goals. As the Caribbean faces the challenges of climate change, including sea level rise, it only makes sense to work with nature to address these impacts in the future the way that coastal ecosystems can buffer the coastline from storms. The coral reefs, the mangrove forests, and the wetlands all function almost like shields as a wave comes in. Once we have all of the future visions from the communities on Andros, we can then mix that with the satellite imagery, the spatial information about where the different ecosystems are, and we can use that to design different scenarios for the future. The first one was the conservation scenario, expanding protected areas, making sure that things like coral reefs and wetlands were protected. This was made mainly to ensure that their current livelihoods, such as bone fishing, sponging, etc., that they would not be affected at all. The next scenario was called the intensive development scenario. We're really focused on development. A cruise ship being put in Northern Andrus, things like big hotels being found along the coast. This prioritized development over the environment. And then we had the sustainable prosperity scenario. There's a mixture of development and also preserving the environment. And this this um, sort of builds on existing livelihoods in Andrus, but including more um, locally owned ecotourism types of development. We made sure to involve the local community. Uh, their voices had to be heard in the process. We took these three scenarios back to Andrus, presented it to the people and asked them which of the scenarios that they would want to see Andrus look like in the future. Um, most of the Andrusians chose the sustainable prosperity scenario and so that is the one that we are developing for the master plan.